the, about the most flush that I could find. Spring loaded. Beauty. Look at that, guys. That's really nice. These are perfect. This swivel chair. Had these for a while. They fold up. Really comfortable way to go. Got the depth finder. So when you're sitting here, your head's right about here, so it's perfect. Two rod holders. Got one up front. We added some navigation lights, red and green. There. We added a gigging light for floundering frogs or whatever you're out to do, just driving down the river. And then this simple carpeted deck that belies what's underneath. These are pretty nice. I think they'll do the trick. There we go, guys. Got some stainless hinges there. This is T111 that's been primed and sealed on both sides. Got all the cabling for the depth finder tied up neatly, separate from the wiring harness, because you don't want your depth finder, your accessories tied into the wiring harness. If you ever have to fix one or replace it, you don't want to cut your harness apart. Six position switches, six position fuses, 60 amp marine breaker, battery switch, one and two, or both. All this cabling here goes back to the quick disconnect we put in for the trolling motor, so we just basically unplug it real easy at the, at the ramp instead of having to unscrew it from the battery. And then I've got two big old 29 batteries that go right in there centered. So this, uh, this project is about a wrap. If you watch these videos all the way through, I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, watch this fishing off of it, and maybe you'll learn something then. But I hope you enjoy it either way. Peace. Oh. Good girl, you ready to go fishing? Me too.